What is going on my reefing fam? March here, Fragbox TV. Okay, what are we going to do today? If you're new to the channel, welcome. This is our little television show. This is a coral store. I always say coral store. I don't know what to call it. It's a store that specializes in saltwater corals. We did a video a while back, a couple months ago, about how fast corals grow. And I thought it was kind of fun and the feedback from the channel was really good. I think you guys enjoyed it. So we're going to do that again. We're going to pick a different coral. Last time we used Kenya tree as our example, so that's, uh, where's my Kenya tree? One of these up here, kind of. Uh, that's not quite Kenya tree, that's sort of Kenya tree, another type of soft coral. Anyways, we're going to use this time an LPS coral and I've chosen Hollywood Stunner Chalice just because it grows very quick, grows very, very fast and I think it's a good candidate for this how fast you corals grow video. So I'm going to do it in our grow out system I have a frag ready. I'll take you down to the basement in a second. And then I think I'm gonna give it a little bit longer this time to grow. And we'll see how it looks in, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Let's go downstairs and see it first. We'll go to the lovely basement where no one is allowed. Uh, well, except you guys, our YouTube followers and subscribers, come with me to our scary, messy basement. I have our Hollywood Stunner, it's a mess down here, ready to go. I think I'm gonna give it four weeks. And then we can uh, check back. So what I'm going to do here is turn off, oh, that's uh, Facebook. I'm going to turn off the flow on this tank. If you don't have one of these, or you don't know what this is, it's called a Neptune Apex. And it's an aquarium controller, so it hooks up, our whole store is actually hooked up to this entire, um, this, this device, this aquarium controller, FCC. Stands for Fragbox Cultured Corals. So that's the corals that we grow here in this um, farm system. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit that. And why I'm showing you this, this little sidetrack, because it's really cool. What you do is you press this called feed mode. So I press A and what happens is the pumps go off for whatever set amount of time you've decided. So I've set it to five minutes. So my return pumps go off, the power heads go off and the skimmer goes off because what happens is your sump level, sh wow, that's really dirty. Someone didn't do their job this week. The sump level will rise and if your skimmer is not off, then it's going to bubble like crazy. So that's just kind of a cool feature about the Neptune Apex, one of the many, many features of Apex. Let me show you this coral. And there it is. Our frag is gonna sit here on our lovely little they're called frag savers, or I think that's what we call them, frag savers. Basically, it's, um, let me show you. This is the Hollywood Stun and Chalice. I'm pretty sure we did a video on this not too long ago on how to keep this specific coral. So it's an LPS coral. It's encrusting. It grows very, very quick. I have it here on a frag plug. And what I like to do is put them in these little, we, this, this piece here, which we call the frag saver, because then it's really, really mobile and really easy to move later. People love these things. We sell them here in store. They're made by my friend, actually. So you can probably, I don't know if you're going to find them where you live, but if, if you're in Canada, you can order them from us. He makes them out of 100% um, reef safe, non-phosphate leaching ceramic. We use them throughout the whole store. So I think for this piece, I think we're going to do four weeks and then we will check back and see how fast this guy grows. Obviously, every different, every single tank is different. Um, water parameters are different, flow and lighting, and this is just sort of to get a rough idea. And if you guys enjoy these, I'm going to keep doing videos like this, how fast do corals grow. I'll do zoanthids, I'll do some montipora, maybe um, some favia, some bird's nest, some SPS, some acropora, you know, things that are generally grow slow in the hobby. Maybe some montipora digitata, maybe some encrusting, or if you guys want to comment below and let me know a certain type of coral you'd like to see me do a video like this on. So let's let this puppy sit here. We will give it, uh, I, I think I'm gonna give it a month and then we'll check back in and see how it looks. Okay, with the magic of YouTube, there she is. That is just under four weeks of growth. I would say that it more than doubled in size, somewhere between double and tripled in size. And so this coral, it's known for growing fast. It's, it's known for spreading quickly. It has a thin, calcium structure and it plates. So what does that mean? It kind of grows like a Monty, even though it's a chalice. It does have quite an aggressive sting. It does need some space. As you can see, I got no other corals really around it right now, just in case. You know what? I think I might want to do this a little bit longer, give it some more time and I don't know, come back to it. And I don't, mm, yeah, you know what? Why don't we wait another, another three, four weeks? Cause I feel like it could have grown more 
in that time. I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger just because we frag so many of these and let them heal before we, we sell them. And I was expecting a little, little bit bigger. Um, this system's been pretty stable. Calcium was a tiny bit low and aqua was a little bit high from when I shot originally um, uh, 27, 28 days ago. I'm gonna give it a little bit longer and then we're gonna check back and see how fast a Hollywood Stunner Chalice really, really grows. Okay, welcome back. Here she is and we're talking now just over, hold on, let me check how long we've been growing this puppy. This is basically, I would say four by four, four inches by four inches across. So just under three months, two and a half months, sort of. Um, this, is, this is what I was expecting from Hollywood Stunner. So when I say a coral grows fast, th this is one that really grows fast. It's nice size now. It's very common for our customers to buy a frag and grow them out and even trade us back colonies. I love taking up stuff back in like this. It is, like I said, a little bit aggressive, so it needs some space. It is, I think you can see there, it's kind of stinging these zoas here. You see how they're all kind of closed and retracted? And same with those ones there. So it probably is maybe sending out a little sweeper tentacle at night and stinging them. This is a very easy coral to keep, a very forgiving coral, a very popular coral. It's been in the hobby for a very long time. And as you see from um, one month to two months, the growth is exponential. So the small frag took a little time to get going and then this is now gonna grow. Let's say I did this video again, we're gonna wrap this one up and I'll pick a different coral because I think the, um, the idea came across pretty well. But let's say I were to take, uh, I'll leave this one and then come back to it in you know another month or another two months, we'll find that the coral, or at least I expect the coral to grow exponentially. So a bigger coral is gonna be able to grow faster than um, a smaller a smaller frag. It can calcify more. I think it can absorb more nutrients in the water. It's gonna grow a lot faster as it gets bigger. He's almost, he's looking like he's ready for a fragging. I can do another video that shows you how to frag this coral. It's really, really simple. This stuff is so brittle. Like literally, look, I'm not even trying here. There's a frag, look at that. Just snaps off, it's paper, paper thin. It's unusual for a chalice coral. Usually they encrust and they're a lot thicker and you're not gonna be able to frag it with your fingers. So I can actually glue this little thing down to a plug and in no, no time at all, it's gonna grow back into uh, eventually something like that. That's the magic of fragging. I'm gonna put this down for a second here. Uh, it's really slimy too. Like, oh, oh, there's good. You can see that, look at that magic. Look, it's floating there. Um, it's very, very slimy when you touch it. And um, it's just, I guess, like a defense response. Uh, let's see if I can lift it up with the slime. Oh, that's so gross. It's kind of like my bulldog's uh, mouth there. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that one back. Like I said, if you like the videos, please give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments what coral you want us to do next. I'm having a lot of fun doing these. And it's kind of cool to actually put it on camera and witness how fast they grow. Because sometimes, like I know canyon tree grows fast, some zoas grow fast but it's kind of cool to put it in perspective like this. Thanks for watching this video. We're gonna wrap it up and we will be back here tomorrow because what we try to do here at Fragbox TV, yeah, TV, like a television show, is a video, like a reef-related topic every single day of the week. They're not all gonna be like this. Sometimes we talk about invertebrates. Sometimes we talk about fish. Sometimes we talk about things going on in the reef keeping industry. Every day something new. We try and mix it up. We try and change it up. And that's it. We'll leave this one alone. Thank you very much for watching and have a very nice and pleasant day, evening, afternoon, wherever you are watching from. Goodbye.